I need to know I got a thing about you You got a thing about me too But you keep playing with my feelings Even though you know I got a thing about you We got a thing for each other So don't go wasting what you feeling Don't be dumb, be dumb, be dumb oh, oh, oh. Kiki, I'm Kiki, of course, and today is going to be an exciting video because I am going to be sharing my favorite female influencers. I think this is going to be, I've been looking forward to doing this video because you're actually going to get a glimpse of me actually getting to meet one. Do how you feel as long as you can show me a good time. I think what drew me to her was her struggles with body dysmorphia and I'm actually going to read that definition right now. Um, it's a mental illness of obsessive focus of a perceived flaw in appearance. And what's beautiful is that she learned and trained herself to love her body. And let me tell you, this girl is a curvy goddess, okay? Um, she is working it and I absolutely... I'm drawn to her body. Her body is beautiful. And I think when I think about what the issues that she's overcome is I think about our women today and I think about how pressured we are to always look good at all times. And I think about, you know, how we analyze our bodies, every single thing we want to be perfect. And we already are. That's the reality. You know, no one's perfect. And, you know, it says a lot because there's apps out here today that you can alter your body. And that says a lot about how many women are insecure. And I think that it's beautiful that Nazanin was so transparent about the issue that a lot of women face. And I also want to mention, um, I was on Instagram. Miss Nazanin has been doing some great things. Um, let me pull it up. Um, so she actually posted that, um, she is an official certified transformational empowerment life coach. So I think that is amazing. Um, she talks about how it's been life changing and, um, she's working with a nonprofit movement, uh, called tangible movement, um, to deliver a motivational workshop. Um, I mean, she's just doing such great work. And I love to see women like this. Let's empower women. Let's embody, you know, what strong women are. And I think she is definitely one of them. Monique Rodriguez, wow. She is an absolute, like, beautiful example of our African-American women today um, that are CEOs and have their own business. So she is actually the creator of uh, Maya Organics, which is a hair care line for curly girls and, or any curly hair, you know? And what I love is this story is so inspiring because she stepped out on faith and pursued her passion. Um, and of course I discovered her just by using her products. And I was like, oh my God, I love the products. And I wanted to know more about the creator. And when I looked her up, she actually started as an RN. She was a registered nurse. She went in her basement, whipped up some magic, and she turned that into a multi-million empire. She is doing amazing. Um, she goes to a lot of different conventions and talks about her products, helps women of color, and I think it's beautiful. I have to say this, um, Melvin Rodriguez, he is an amazing man. He loves his wife, he loves his family, and you could tell that they together, God has put them together for a reason. And you know, they both really, really work hard. He is actually the COO of Myel Organics, and they just, they just keep going higher and higher. And I just say this, them two is couple goals, seriously. You could tell that 
it is a purpose that they are together and i just love it because i think that it is just such an amazing thing to see um not only a african-american woman but you see a couple of color come together and build this empire but also have so much love built on that foundation i think when you have faith in god and you have faith in his works and you have that faith that you know he's going to pull through for you it can happen so let me tell you prayer works and if you have a passion go for it but put god first and the fanciest thing couldn't make me believe in us. I'm fancy, so um, she is a model. Um, but most of you mostly probably know her from the show Single Ladies that used to air on VH1 um a while ago. Um, but I used to love that show. Oh my God, I was like addicted to that show. Oh, uh, great show, but. Anyways, that's how I got introduced to Denise and you know, I was following her on Instagram and I was just very inspired about um, her wisdom on family and self-love and um, loving yourself and I really do um, love that the things that she is doing. She has, um, she is a founder of a website called Made, um, which is about improving your well-being for women um and on different things you know skin motherhood health uh great eating habits i mean there's a lot of different things on there and i highly suggest you know if you have time to go on there um but she also has uh partnerships with uh great skincare products for women um that are very healthy seeing women like denise it really puts into perspective that yes family is everything and you know Family will take a lot out of you. It really will. Um, raising a family is hard. Um, and taking care of your family is very important. But it is also important to take care of yourself. Don't forget that. Into us. All I need is your time devotion. Bylon. Oh my gosh. Or should I say Miss Houghton? Um, I just really love Adrienne. I have loved her since 3LW days. I mean, I used to sing her, you know, she used to be in a girl group, 3LW. I used to sing, no more, baby, I'm gonna do it right. Yes, that used to be my jam when I was little. Um, but I have been following her, oh my God, for so long. Um, but she used to be in 3LW. She's a daytime television host through on the real she has her own jewelry line xixi she does all things adrian on youtube i mean she she clearly is a busy woman um but that that inspires me is that she is going hard and focusing on her dreams and those kind of women always inspire me and what really inspires me is that you know she comes from the Lower East Side of New York and she she's made it, you know, and she's created it seems like she's created a life that she she loves, you know, and I think that is something that I'm working towards is creating a life where, you know, I'm working, but I love what I do, you know, to the point where it doesn't feel like a job. And that is the ultimate goal. I mean, um, but I think what really also draws me to Adrienne is that she is also a Scorpio. So, um, sometimes when she's on the real, it's like we're thinking the same thing. Sometimes, like, she would finish my sentence if I was there. Um, like, so for me, there is, for between me and her, there's a 10 year age difference. But I look at her as my big sister. Um, and if Adrian, you watch it, I see you, girl. I'm so proud of you. Um, I love you. And it's just amazing to see her grow so, so much. Um, from, oh, uh, she used to be a cheater girl. How can I remember this? I, I can't. She was a cheater girl. Um, and just seeing her from 3LW to now you can see that she loves the work that she does um and i feel like she's in a great place in her life right now i feel like she's found herself 
and I think that's a beautiful thing and she recently talked about her uh, subtitle story on the reel and she talked about how she used to read the subtitles on the tv and people would look at her like she's weird because they were like why are you making me do this you know but in reality in hindsight god was preparing her for her future i mean it really just shows you that god has a plan for you just wanna dance want a simple romance nothing more nothing less from you Finally, Melissa Malinaro. Oh my gosh, I have been following this influencer for about a decade. Um, and to see the growth that she's at now, that's what makes this uh, experience beautiful. Uh, she, the first time that I seen Melissa, I was on TV, it was on Making the Band. Um, comment below if you remember Making the Band. That used to be my show. And I saw her, she was so talented um, and you can kind of see, you know, how she pulls through, through the camera, you know, like she's, she's built for this, you know, she sings, she dances. And from that point on, I see her in the commercials, you know, I seen her, um, she was also on the search for the next Pussycat doll and I saw her there too. And I, you know, I kept seeing her. And when Instagram came about, um, I started following her on Instagram. And, you know, she had that same spirit, that same energy. And I think that is what draws me to her. She is a hustler. Let me tell you, she works hard for hers. Let me tell you that, okay? She did all those shows, right? She did all those shows. She has her own clothing line, May. She now does Power Booty, honey. Power Booty is um, a workout uh, that she has, and she has a workout program online. Um, she has Power Booty classes, which is an exercise class. Um, she has merch on there, waist trainers and everything, you know, apparel. Um, she just became a mother to beautiful London. She has a beautiful family, her husband, Brian. You know, I truly love this family. Um, but you probably know her even from her iconic wedding dance video, um, which I believe she got like 22 million views. Um, but definitely check that out if you haven't. Um, but she is just so inspiring. And when I tell you this, her energy can light up a room um and that's what you're about to see i actually got a chance to meet melissa in new york oh my god it actually happened um this past november and when she announced that she was doing the power booty tour i was like oh no i literally dropped everything i was like i don't care if i have to miss work i don't care what's going on I gotta see Melissa. Like that was just the vibe I was on. I was like, uh, no, I, I don't care what's going on. I'm, I'm going to see Melissa. And so I was waiting and waiting and waiting for when she was gonna announce the cities that she was gonna take on for the tour. She was like, um, New York. I said, oh, that's the closest thing to me. I will drive two and a half hours to see my girl. Yes, honey, I'm coming to see Melissa. And so, I went and oh my gosh, it was an unforgettable experience. Just to see her, oh my God, her energy can touch you. I don't know if you've ever been around someone who's like their energy can touch you, but it, her energy can touch. Like she's so positive and she's, oh my God, her energy is just unstoppable. It truly is, and it's time to show this footage. Um, so when I went to New York, I actually didn't bring my camera um, because I kind of just wanted to embrace this moment because I don't know if I'm going to see her again. I don't know if she's going to have, and she is supposed to have another tour, so I will be going. But, you know, you just never know. Life is short. You don't know what's going to happen. So I wanted to see her, and so... I kind of wanted to embrace the moment 
being in New York. So I didn't bring my camera, you know, and I didn't know how everything was going to be set up, you know, and it's a workout class. I mean, it's a, it's a, it was a dance class, dance part also in the tour. So, I mean, when am I going to have time to film? I mean, I want to do what I do. So, um, I got a little footage on my phone, so I hope you guys really enjoy the footage. Um, but it was a true blessing meeting her, you know, so I definitely hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, so let's check it out. Hi guys, so today's the day. Um, we're on our way to New York. Um, we are about to leave now. I have my bags packed. Yes, she's ready to go. Oh, I love my nails. Are they cute? Um, but yeah, so I'm super excited. I'm going to try to get as much footage as I can. Um, I really just want to live in the moment. Um, so I'm just going to try to keep you guys along with me. But I'm just so excited. And I'll see you guys. So stay tuned. Hi, guys. So we just arrived in New York. I'm so excited. Um, the traffic was crazy. It gives me a lot of anxiety. But I just want to give you a quick tour of the room. So, this is the door, obviously. This is the room we're staying in. Very nice room. This is the bathroom. The glass shower. Yes, yes. Just a nice place just to be here overnight. Not going to be here long. Sorry, I got stuff everywhere. There's pumpkin. <laughs> and then we're supposed to have a view of the Brooklyn skyline. I don't know. Um, but this is the view. This building. But anyway, so I'm just so excited and I'm going to try to keep you guys updated, but it's going to be a busy night because the class is from 6 to 9 tonight. So I am going to definitely get some rest and I'll catch up after the guys. Niggas need their old jaws and shit acting like he wasn't watching us. <laughs> It's never going to be enough, and it's so good to keep 
you know, setting the bar high for yourself. And like, I feel like society can, you know, give us a little rap and like, you know, put you down and like, no, you can't do that or you can't do this. You can do it all. You can do anything you put your mind to. You know, if you have certain goals and there's things in your life that you want, best believe you're gonna go after it, but only you can do it for yourself. You know, only you can do it for yourself. So, and I also think that the doubts in our mind really get in the way. Don't you think sometimes that it's not even people that are telling us these things, it's the things we think about ourselves and that inner monologue that's constantly going on, that little self-doubt, like I said, get her away. You know, she doesn't belong in those thoughts. You have to know and you have to be confident in yourself. What I set out to do, this is something I really want. I'm gonna give it my all and I'm gonna go after it. I'm gonna make mistakes along the way and I'm gonna end up, but I'm gonna learn from my mistakes and I'm gonna get better and I'm gonna keep going. Don't waste your time around people in, that make you unhappy, you know? Get your circle together. Get the people in your corner together that are gonna rise with you. Talk to your girlfriends. You know what, this year, 2020, <laughs> we gotta step it up. <laughs> we gotta step it up. I don't know about you, but I'm having a great year in 2020. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that beautiful footage of me meeting Melissa. Um, and when it comes to influencers, only follow people who, you know, make you want to be better, inspire you to be a better woman, and who embrace life, you know, and live life to the fullest and aren't afraid. I think all these women that I mentioned are something special, and I highly recommend that you follow them. Um, I'm definitely going to leave all of their um, handles, Instagram handles, in my description. Um, and just always, it just comes to show that you have to surround yourself with positive people, you know. And I hope that one day I can influence someone. I think that is a beautiful thing to have is to inspire other women. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe. Don't forget to comment. And don't forget to hit that bell notification so you know every time I post a video. See you next time. Uh, we used to be best friends. Where did I go from? Thing about you, you got a thing about me too. But you keep playing.